thank our Almighty God for giving me this wonderful time. I praise God for this. And today, as we know, all the world they celebrate as Father's Day. June 21, they celebrate it as a Father's Day. So today I have grabbed this opportunity and I have grabbed this time that I can able to tell something about the Father's Day. Because as we see in this world, there are many places that there is no, no unity between fathers and the son. Fathers and the son, they did not stay together in many places and in many people and in many areas. And especially in village area, there is a big separation between fathers and the son, between fathers and the daughter. So today, I want to tell that how, about how father is important to the sons and how son is important to the father. Or how father is important to their children, how children are important to their father. As well as how the wife is important to the father, we are going to study about that. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 23 says that, like how the husband is the head of the wife in the same way Jesus Christ is also the head of the church. Jesus Christ is also the head of the church. So today especially I'm going to talk especially about the husband. Which means I'm going to talk especially about the fathers. Fathers, you are the head in the family. Which means the family is in your hand. Family is given in the responsibility. They need to take care of the family in the right way. Today, fathers, you are like a servant of God. How the how king has the servant, and how the servant, and how the king give a seed or a or a fruit to the servant to plant the fruit and let it grow in a right way, and to plant the fruit and to let the fruit to bear a fruit in the and so the when the fruit grow, when the fruit grow and when it develop and when it bear more fruit, then the owner of the Food or owner of the field or the king will be very happy and he would give a re reward to, the, to his servant for his hard work, for his faithful work. In the same way, fathers, the children are just like a seed God has given you to plant them in the right way, to plant them, bear them and multiply them and bear a good food. So that when you bear a good food, when your child bear a good food, when your child Grow in the right way, in the way of God, in the path of God. God will give you a good reward, fathers. All the fathers, God will give you a good reward. But if the servant does not plant a seed well, if the servant does not let the seed to grow, but if the servant make the seed to die, the king or the owner of the seed or the field will destroy the servant. In the same way, our God, if we did not, if the fathers, if they did not plant their children in the right way, if they did not let the their children to grow in Christ. God will destroy them. God will remove them. God will chase them away from heavenly kingdom. God will chase them away from their presence, from his presence. Fathers, to remember, the family is in your responsibility. But it's too sad news that many places that the fathers, they do all those bad things. That they went and they drink wine. And sometimes when there is no more money, they would like to take the property whatever is there in the house like maybe they'll take some rice and they'll sell, sell it especially this thing happened it's very common in the village area i've experienced this i've seen with my own eyes that it had happened in certain kind of villages and therefore today i'm experienced i'm explaining to you all my friends and my fellow believers in christ and those who are watching my sermon so friends today and all the fathers remember do not do that. And because of the today, many of the children are not educated. Here we see that some of the fathers are like that. But some of the fathers, those who take a ox and those who have take help from God, they care their child from the time they are born. And they take them to the school. Sometimes the their child may reach school late, but fathers would take the pain. Fathers would take the blame on themselves. And as they grow up, they give them everything. They provide their needs and during their college time they provide the, everything. Maybe during their college time they may need laptop, they provide them. Bike, they provide them. A mobile phone, they provide everything. But at the last moment many of the young people, even the young boys and girls, we forget the love of our fathers. We forget the sacrifice. We forget the hard work that our fathers did from the time we were born. We choose our own life and we try to live happily with, but we forget the love. 
Bible says in says in Ephesians chapter six verse one, children obey your parents in the Lord for this right. Today we do not obey these earthly parents, how will obey our heavenly parents? Today we need to obey our earthly fathers. So children, let me tell you that these fathers who ask help from God, they're the God gifted fathers. Let us respect them. Let us be obedient to them. They care for us a lot. They care for us a lot. They burn their skin in the sunshine so that our skin will become fair. They burn, they wet their skin in the rain so that our skin will remain fair and cool. Just because of their hard work, they burn their hand in the hot sunshine. They dirty their hand just so that our hand is clean today. It's just because of the love of our earthly fathers. So, especially for the world, our Heavenly Father is more blessed. He loves us more than how our earthly Father loves us. Psalm 103, 13 says that, that like how the earthly Father loved their children, in the same way the Heavenly Father loved the world. He loves us all. What problem we have, what difficulties we have, what difficulties, let us ask to God. Today I want to ask my God, today I want to ask my Heavenly Father what problem I have to solve that problem. What is needed for me in my life to live a spiritual life, I would ask my Heavenly Father. Today let us ask to Him. He'll give us, He'll provide us whatever we need. So may God bless us all abundantly and I hope and pray that our children, the children of this earth will remember the love of our parents, will remember the love of our fathers and will obey them, will respect them, will care for them and will to listen to their words and in the same way the earth, the world will listen to our Heavenly Father and so that we live everyone with love, joy, peace and happiness. So we'll grow spiritually in Christ and we'll reach the heavenly eternal kingdom. So may God bless us all abundantly from now till we meet again. And so that we can able to understand the love of God, love of our heavenly father. May God bless us all.